the return of the Tasmanian tiger, can science bring extinct animals back? Today, we're diving into a trending topic that's captured the imagination of scientists and animal lovers alike. The potential return of the Tasmanian tiger, also known as the thylacine. That's right, science is getting closer than ever to bringing this extinct animal back from the dead. Let's break down the latest developments and what this could mean for wildlife conservation. What is the Tasmanian tiger? If you're not familiar with the Tasmanian tiger, it's a carnivorous marsupial that was native to Tasmania, mainland Australia, and New Guinea. Despite its name, the Tasmanian tiger looked more like a dog with stripes across its back. It was a top predator in its ecosystem, but sadly, it went extinct in the 20th century due to hunting and habitat loss. The last known thylacine died in captivity at the Hobart Zoo in 1936. Since then, the animal has become a symbol of lost biodiversity. Why is the Tasmanian tiger trending? Recently, headlines have been buzzing with news that scientists from the University of Melbourne, in collaboration with biotech company Colossal Biosciences, are working on de-extincting the Tasmanian tiger. By using advanced genetic engineering techniques, they aim to recreate a living, breathing version of this iconic animal. This groundbreaking effort involves gene editing, where DNA from closely related species, like the numbat, is used to fill in gaps in the Tasmanian tiger's genetic code. The potential for success has sparked massive public interest. How does de-extinction work? To bring back the Tasmanian tiger, scientists follow a process similar to cloning. First, they sequence the extinct animal's genome. Next, they use CRISPR gene editing technology to modify the DNA of a living species that shares genetic similarities. In this case, the numbat and Tasmanian devil are being considered as genetic surrogates. Once the genetic modifications are complete, the embryo is implanted into a surrogate mother, with the hope of eventually giving birth to a live Tasmanian tiger. Potential benefits of bringing back the Tasmanian tiger. Bringing back an extinct species isn't just about righting past wrongs. It could have tangible benefits for the environment. Ecosystem restoration. The Tasmanian tiger was a top predator, helping to control populations of other animals. Its reintroduction could help rebalance Tasmania's fragile ecosystem. Scientific advancements. The techniques developed for de-extinction could be applied to save endangered species that are still with us. Public awareness. High-profile projects like this raise awareness about biodiversity loss and the importance of conservation. Ethical and ecological concerns. Of course, not everyone is on board with de-extinction. There are valid concerns, unintended consequences. Introducing a species that has been extinct for nearly a century could disrupt current ecosystems. Animal welfare. The cloning and gene editing process might involve trial and error, raising ethical questions about animal suffering. Resource allocation. Some argue that resources would be better spent protecting endangered species rather than bringing back extinct ones. Similar projects in the animal world. The Tasmanian tiger isn't the only species scientists are trying to bring back. Here are a few other notable efforts. Woolly mammoth. Scientists are working to create a hybrid mammoth elephant that can thrive in the Arctic tundra. Passenger pigeon. Efforts are underway to revive this once abundant North American bird, Pyrenean ibex. This extinct wild goat was briefly brought back to life in 2003 marking the first successful de-extinction. What this means for conservation. Even if the Tasmanian tiger project isn't immediately successful, it represents a shift in how we think about conservation. By leveraging technology, we can potentially reverse some of the damage caused by human activity. Moreover, these advancements could lead to breakthroughs in preserving endangered animals, creating genetic banks, and even developing vaccines for wildlife diseases how you can help protect wildlife. While most of us won't be working in genetics labs, there are still ways to support wildlife conservation, support conservation organizations, donate to or volunteer with groups that protect endangered species, reduce your environmental footprint. Simple changes like recycling and reducing single-use plastics can make a big difference. Spread awareness, share information about endangered species and the importance of biodiversity. So what do you think about the potential return of the Tasmanian tiger? Is it a scientific miracle or playing with nature's balance? Let us know in the comments below.